What are your thoughts on the way that Canva has included AI and how has their AI features changed your workflow? I really do truly love the Magic Studio. It is a time-saving thing. Everything with the Magic Studio is really just a click of a button. You click on background remover, boom. You click on Magic Expand, boom. Everything is done at a click of a button. For those who don't know, anytime you see Canva using the word magic, that's basically their term for AI. Magic grab, magic expand. Magic replaces one that- It saves me so much time. It helps me come up with different ways of creating, finding more creativity, having more fun creating and less frustration, right? Especially when you don't- Everybody loves Canva. With a lot of their new features that they've introduced, I think it's safe to say that they're gonna love Canva a lot more. So I'm gonna to go to my next question in regards to that, which is, I wanna know your thoughts on how Canva has introduced AI. We, we're in the AI era right now. We can't get away from it. Everything has AI. My toothbrush has AI. My microwave has AI. It's everywhere. And Canva has adopted it as well. What are your thoughts on the way that Canva has included AI? And how has their AI features changed your workflow? Yeah, I mean, you can pretty much just go to the homepage, click on Magic Studio on the left toolbar there, and you're going to see all the different features that are AI. So, like, for those who don't know, anytime you see Canva using the word magic, that's basically their term for AI. So I would say there's like lots of different facets. Um, magic Write is like one of those things that people use to help generate copy. It's similar to like you can put in a prompt the way that you would on chat GPT to you know, get it to help you brainstorm an idea or social media post captions or something like that. I don't really use that as much. I would say like the AI features that I use have more to do with the photo editing and image editing capabilities. So like when they launched magic grab magic expand those were really big ones for me and then magic replace is one that i'm not sure a lot of people know about but like if you're going through a brand refresh you have like you know your logo is on all of your designs and that's really annoying to then have to go through and change that logo on every single design but you can actually use magic replace to say like hey this is my new logo and i want you to replace anytime that you see this old image I want you to replace it with this image. So that's like probably from a brand perspective, one of the best time-saving AI features that I've seen within Canva. You said the key word right there, time-saving. That was a great explanation of breaking it down and how you can use it because that is a real user case on how somebody can use that in their daily workflow in regards to changing the logo. So when I heard about Canva expanding and starting to use AI in different ways, it was incredible to understand like the variety that they have. Like they have such a heavy focus on creators and social media style content, but they also have a huge focus on big brands and their overall branding really big focus on teachers and helping them with their assets. I mean, there's just incredible tools out there that really can help everyone personally. I love kind of like what Roger was saying, the more individual tools to edit like photos um, and your designs. I love Magic Expand, like the, it's game changer. Whenever I have a photo that I want to use for like a real cover and I'm like, text is not fitting around me in the picture, I will like expand the background around me and it makes it so I have more space to add text. It's incredible to be able to not have to go back in and search for a new photo. That's probably my favorite one. I mean, overall, it just saves me so much time. It helps me come up with different ways of creating, finding more creativity, having more fun creating and less, less frustration, right? Especially when you don't come from a design background, it can get really frustrating trying to do things when you're, you know, creating content, whether it's for your business um, or, you know, social media specifically, it gets really frustrating. And I think things like magic expand, magic grab, magic edit, all those things, it really helps. Um, and I'm curious actually with everyone in the audience, have you tested out any of Canva AI features? So kind of what Roger said, maybe you don't know if it's an AI feature. Uh, anytime you see magic, like within Magic Studio, you're getting something that's AI. Have you ever used any of the AI features? Let us know with a thumbs up if you have and a thumbs down if you have not. You know, we didn't talk about uh, Magic Eraser, but that's a that's a big one, especially if you've had, uh, you know, a relationship with somebody who's in all your family photos and then- Why'd you go there first, Roger? Roger, why'd you go there first? 
Get rid of that person. Just brush that person right out of that photo. They're gone. You just made that the most used feature on Canva. <laughs> Well, like we give everybody an opportunity to put a thumbs up if they use an AI feature on Canva or a thumbs down if they haven't. I want to hear from you, Drianna. Um, have you used any of the AI features I was speaking about or yeah. the, like the whole magic studio? I'm a, I'm a whole magic studio fan. So I had a class, a free class that I did um, on Saturday and I spent half of my time literally talking about the whole entire Magic Studio. So I had to make the class longer. So I'm just talking about everything Magic Studio. So I, I really do truly love the Magic Studio. And like Roger and Megan said, it is a time-saving thing. Everything with the Magic Studio is really just a click of a button. You click on Background Remover, boom. You click on Magic Expand, boom. You click on Magic Grab, everything is done at a click of a button. I like all of the photo editing stuff inside of Magic Grab. Not Magic Grab, sorry, Magic Studio. But one of my most favorite Magic features would have to be the resize and Magic Switch. Yeah. Because, like, say for instance, if I'm making a flyer for my Instagram and I want to transform that into a real cover, I can just click on that button and tell them, hey, I want it to be mm -hmm. Instagram real size, and it's done. I just go back in and resize all of my stuff, and it's done. Instead of me having to start over from a new project, copy, paste, copy, paste, that was kind of annoying. So I personally really, really love that one, and then my next one has to be Magic Grab for removing the item off of the background. I will say, like, the Magic Switch, the fact that they have Translate, under that now, when I was in Canada teaching a workshop, um, I was there with a group of Nigerians, and and so we translated the design into their language. And I've never seen a really erupt like that. Like they were so excited. I was like, "Is this accurate?" And they were like, "Yes!" Like they could not believe it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love the fact you had to ask if, if it was accurate. I, yeah, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. I had somebody download one of my digital products. They messaged me on Instagram like, uh, I can I get a refund for this? I didn't know that it was going to just be in English. And I was like, actually, I can translate it for you and send it to you. And I did. I went right into Canva, click of a button and sent it to her. And, and I double checked. Oh. All resonate. Does it translate for you? And she's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, thank you. Like, so it's. <laughs> and saved you some money too. <laughs> you know, it's funny because you guys are talking about like saving time. Ultimately, a lot of these features are saving time. But when I hear saving time, I'm actually hearing the word saving money because you don't have to go out and hire somebody else to translate the information for you. You don't have to go out and, and you know, hire another third party to finish off a certain part of the job or to buy another app. You're saving money ultimately while making money faster because it is saving you obviously that time. But I mean, with all of these AI features that Canva has put right at your fingertip on this platform, and I have to say for a very decent price as well, this is not like something where it's not like Netflix that just keeps on increasing and you're just like, well, I'm stuck with this. Canva has so much great features that you can utilize. I think most everybody utilizes every day on in some way, shape, or form. And I think some of the ideas that you guys just shared, I, I didn't even know about that Translate one, and that is such an incredible one right there. So this week, we are going to be playing another round of Would You Rather, where I'm just going to give you two options, and then everybody in the audience, if you want to fill in your answer, we love hearing your answer as well. So is Would You Rather only be able to use pre-made templates from Canva forevermore, or have to start from scratch forevermore when creating content. Oh, dang. That's a tough, I'm a Canva creator, so I'm creating <laughs> templates that are in the library, so. <laughs> now you're choosing your baby. <laughs> For real. Had to have um, I would probably say 